Right, let's take a look at 3M because shares getting a lift after the company reaching a $6 billion legal settlement. settlement. 3M looking to settle nearly 260,000 lawsuits from military service members over its earplugs. Now, Alexis Keenan here with the latest details on that. And Alexis, what could the road ahead look like then? Yeah, so I uh, put a piece out today, and it's really kind of looking forward, trying to find out, okay, well, what is the coming litigation for 3M? Yes, they reached this $6 billion settlement. And by the way, part of this settlement does have to get court approval still. That's a billion-dollar chunk. And this will be paid out over five years, so it's not all hitting the company at one time. And that's on the earplugs alone. In addition, just two months ago, the company came to another huge mass tort settlement. And by the way, the earplug settlement was the largest mass tort in U.S. history. This other one was 12.5 at the highest level settlement uh, with uh, thousands of cities, municipalities, state AGs, claiming that 3M's chemicals, its man-made chemicals that we've heard so much about called Forever chemi Chemicals, PFAS, um, that they got into the drinking water and therefore harmed communities. And so these are public utilities that provide water that reach this settlement. So that's another one. But all on top of that are other PFAS claims that are still in open litigation because those those only foreclose on some of its problems with these chemicals. And of course, these chemicals are associated with harms like kidney and testicular cancer, liver and cardiac disease, pregnancy and fertility problems, child and fetal development problems as well. Um, they're called per and polyfluoral alkali substances. And uh, so they are a, a big liability for the company going forward. And certainly while this is a step ahead to put some of its, uh, its risks behind it, uh, there is still a lot to be said here. And and a lot to be handled. Now, on a call with analysts today, uh, 3M's head attorney, he said that it was premature at this point to talk about when and how these cases might be resolved. So that was a little bit of an indication there that there's still some struggles ahead. Certainly it sounds like there are many struggles ahead here for this company. All right, Alexis, thanks.